if you can catch this one, hero. Uh, Oops. Leo, I hope it didn't destroy the computer. We gotta check it out now. Okay, Katie, I'm right behind you. Hey. Computer, you're all right. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. There's an animal stuck in the middle of the road, and cars are moving by really fast. It looks like some type of scaly reptile. I need your help to save it. We'll be right over, Zari. Please, hurry. Ranger out. Ranger out. We have to go right now. We can find out more information about the animal on the way there. Roger that, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we, we go. go! Don't worry, I'm here, and I won't take my eyes off you! Hello? Oh, yes, Mommy. Got it, Mommy. <gasps> oh, no! Where did it go? What did you find out about the reptile, Katie? It's not a reptile, Leo. The animal Zari found is a Sunda pangolin. It's a mammal, and one of the few known to be covered in scales from head to toe. Pangolins are nocturnal, shy, and solitary. A shy mammal with scales? Cool! Hi, Zari. Hi, Zari. The animal on the road is a Sunda pangolin. Yeah, about that. I, um, lost it. Oh, no. It must be around here somewhere. Let's spread out and search. Jetpack activate. activate. Time to roll. Where are you, pangolin? Great idea, hero. Now let's see if we can spot the pangolin. <gasps> there it is! I see it! <gasps> the pangolin turned into a ball? We need to get it off the road quick! I can dash out and pick it up! No! It's too dangerous, Zari! I've got another idea. I'll swoop down and grab the pangolin. Katie, Zari, tell me when there are no cars. Be careful, Leo. I'm ready. Wait for it. Wait. And now! I'm coming for you, Pangolin. No, Leo. A car is coming. Fly back up. Ah. Whoa. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! You're safe now, Leo. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. But the Pangolin is still stuck in the middle of the road. Something's wrong with it, Ranger Rocky. It turned into a ball. Don't worry, Junior Rangers. That's the pangolin's way of protecting itself. When Sunda pangolins feel threatened, they curl up into a tight ball to cover vulnerable parts like their face and belly. The scales act as a piece of armor and protects them from being eaten by predators. Their scales are so tough, even tigers can't bite through them. But are pangolin scales tough enough to protect it from being run over by a car? Definitely not. However, you need to find a solution that doesn't put you in danger. I know what to do, Ranger Rocky. We can use the jetpack. I'll use my tablet to control the jetpack from here. We won't have to go out onto the road at all. Excellent idea, Katie. Okay, Katie, let's do this. And activate. Watch out for that car. Another one's coming your way. Almost got you, Pangolin. <gasps> car! I see. was close. It's okay, Pangolin. You're safe now. <laughs> What's that smell? Ugh. Yuck! It's so bad! That's coming from the Pangolin. Pangolins produce a foul smell as a form of defense. The Pangolin must still be afraid. What else can we do to make it feel safe again? Now, let's give the Pangolin some space. Look! 
The pangolin is uncurling. Goodbye, pangolin. Stay safe. Don't cross any more roads. That was an intense rescue, but I'm glad we got the pangolin to the other side of the road safely. <laughs> Hero wants to play fetch again. Okay, Hero. See if you can catch this. <laughs> wow, good boy. Awesome catch, Hero. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Asian Elephant. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, do you want to help me plant an apple tree? Let's start by digging a hole. Great! Now let's place this apple seedling into the hole and cover the hole. We only need to give the seedling some water so it can grow well. Hey, did you see that, Hero? Let's check out what is hiding behind that tree. Whoa! It's an elephant! I think it's a baby elephant. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, young one. Katie, are you there? We found a baby elephant in our garden. Hi, Leo. Oh, my. That is a baby elephant indeed. Can you find more information about it? Absolutely. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So did you find anything about the baby elephant? Hi, Leo. The elephant you found is an Asian elephant, the largest land animal in Asia. Though they are smaller than the African elephant, Asian elephants can grow up to three meters tall. Wow, that's so big! Elephants have long noses called trunks. They use their trunks like we use our hands. With their trunks, they can greet each other like a handshake and pick up objects as heavy as a tree. As heavy as a tree? Wow, elephant trunks sure are strong. Earlier, we saw the baby elephant grab some grass with its trunk. That's because they need to eat a lot of food. They eat all kinds of grasses, small plants, bushes, fruit, twigs, tree bark, and roots. Where do Asian elephants live? The Asian elephant can be found in lowland forests and grasslands of India, China, and Southeast Asia. Baby elephant must be hungry. We should bring it back to its mother. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the Lowland Forest, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Ah, I see you've brought along a young Asian elephant. It seems it's a male calf. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here are paw prints of an animal. They look pointy, so they must come from claws, maybe from a tiger. And on this side, are footprints that are big and round. Do you know where we should go? Over there are paw prints that were made by claws. And over there are big round footprints. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go there because Asian elephants have wide and padded feet that are big and round. Let's go! 
I see more elephant footprints up ahead. Let's follow it. Wait, Leo. We've been walking for a long time, and Hero and Baby Elephant seem thirsty. Hmm, you're right. Perhaps we should take a break. Wait, Elephant! Where are you going? <laughs> Smart Elephant, you found water! He's using his trunk as a shower! <laughs> That's wet! <laughs> What is it, Hero? Oh dear, there are crocodiles. We'd better get away from here. What's the matter, baby elephant? Those crocodiles are getting closer. A mouse? Don't tell me you're afraid of a mouse. Leo, the crocodiles. Uh, Hero, could you? Now let's go! So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the baby elephant's herd, just look for the color gray. Not for yellow like hay, or blue like the blue jay but look for the color gray. I see. So not for yellow like hay, or blue like the blue jay, but, but look, look for, for the, the color, color gray. gray. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the baby elephant's herd and mother, you have to look for the color gray. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the baby elephant's herd. Is that the color gray? Yes, it is, but those are rocks. So let's keep looking. So is that gray? Yes, it is, but those are not elephants. Those are rhinos. So let's continue. Is that the color gray? Yes, it is. And it's a herd of elephants. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Look, it must be the baby elephant's mother. We did it. We found the baby elephant's herd and mother. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Today, we found a baby Asian elephant in our garden. We learned that the Asian elephant live in lowland forests and have wide padded feet. So we went to the lowland forest and brought baby elephant back home to his mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Wait to try my new binoculars! Huh? What's that in the water? It's a small dolphin! Why is it behaving so strangely? That's amazing, Leo! Try it, Katie! <gasps> <laughs> Just keep on practicing! Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. I spotted a baby dolphin acting strangely in the water. I think it needs help. Let's find out more information about it on the computer. Zari, we'll call you back. Ranger out. Let's see what we have here. It's a baby Indo-Pacific humpback dolphin. The Indo-Pacific humpback dolphins are named for the dorsal fin that sits on their hump. Dolphins are mammals, which means their babies feed on the milk that comes from their mother. And unlike fish, 
dolphins breathe air using their lungs, so they have to come up to the water surface for air. Dolphins breathe through the blowhole on top of their heads. It's like their noses. Hmm, nothing explains why the baby dolphin was acting strangely. Let's look at the photo again. Oh no! He's caught in a fishing net. We've got to save him. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we, we go! go. I hope Bubbles is going to be okay. Bubbles? The baby dolphin. He likes to blow bubbles through his blowhole. Bubbles! I'm going in. Don't worry, buddy. I'm here to help you. Well done, Leo. We saved Bubbles. Not yet. We can't leave Bubbles alone. We should find his family. How are we going to find them? Indo-Pacific humpback dolphins communicate with each other through clicks, whistles, and screams. How about I whistle to call his family? <gasps> Don't worry, I got you covered. I don't think they can hear us. There must be another way. It seems the humpback dolphins also use echolocation. What's that? Like us, dolphins can see with their eyes, but they can also see using sound. They produce sound waves which bounce off objects in the water and go back to the dolphins. Echolocation is another way they tell what's around them. The sonar on Platypus One works the same way. Let's use it to find Bubbles' family. It's showing two places. Let me change and we can go. <coughs> Dolphins! Wait, we have one of your babies. Hurry, go to your family. Why don't you want to join them? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky! What are you doing out here? I was patrolling the area for pirates. Why do you have a little humpback dolphin with you? We're trying to reunite Bubbles with his family, but he doesn't want to join them. Ah, those are bottlenose dolphins. You've got the wrong family. We should check out the other place on the sonar. Ahoy! I have to go after some pirates. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Oh no, the sonar isn't picking up anything. How are we going to find Bubbles' family now? The old-fashioned way. We use our eyes. I'll look from the sky. Jetpack, activate. <laughs> you can use Hero Cam. Got it! Jetpack, activate. <laughs> Coming over, hero! Hmm, I think those are another type of sea animal, not dolphins. Keep looking! Hey, I see some dolphins over here. They don't have fins. They're not humpback dolphins. Are those pink dolphins? Let's see. They're indeed pink, have humps, and small dorsal fins. They are the humpback dolphins. Good job, Katie. Meet back at Platypus One. Aw, Bubbles has found his mom. Bye, 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 Bubbles. Stay safe. Mission accomplished. We reunited the baby humpback dolphin with his family. <laughs> ah, Katie. I must get better at whistling. This might help you. <gasps> wow! Now you don't have to practice whistling anymore. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Thank <laughs> you.